Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please include all maintenance and proceed to your workstation. You went on the tour, didn't you? I did. I never wanted to come here. I wanted to sit on a bench and just die. I know this is stupid, but appreciate the irony. Qualia and I broke up yesterday. His parents were transferred to Sahalin. The real one, not the one in this exhibition. He went with them. He said we wouldn't be together. So I wanted to die. You're not wrong. When you're falling off a bridge, it feels like you can fix anything. Except for the fact you're falling off a bridge. But as I was lying here, I suddenly realized there is no idea stupider than giving up on life because of a boyfriend. It even sounds ridiculous. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. I'll tell the guide I found you. She was... worried.
Don't worry, Dina. I'm actually glad they've got the Terrascovas giving tours now instead of us. We still get paid, and we get to take a new scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. Nice vacation. Sounds good to me. My hubby and I are headed to Yalta to visit the family. I'm tired, you know? There are more and more tourists coming every day, even from Moscow. The adults ask question after question, and the kids? Ugh. They... This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Go nuts when they see all the gadgets here. Yesterday, two little boys almost fell into the polymer whale. Can you imagine? A lot of things fall into that whale, actually. Yevgeny the janitor said you could find all kinds of stuff in there. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Hey, Charlie. Why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them, and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh... I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuroconnectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay. There are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed.
Dawson! the facility service rooms major one of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there yeah the truth is out there right I've never seen bots like these before Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique. 
and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the Ballerina Twins? The way they move... They're Here's so... your leg, do yourself repair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here, and lots of little fuckers. What am I supposed to do with this? Charles, is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? You metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. Let's go find the rest.
Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind? Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible, right? Anything is possible. Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible. Anything is possible. First arm's good.
new scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, left, found. Location, Pablo floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No, this is terrible. It plunged into something warm and sick. Oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting. What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrades. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. What will it be, Major? Toaster!
Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. This whale's life was transferred into a polymer vessel thanks to the brilliance of Soviet Saving scientists. Data. Polymer mimetic adaptation owes its existence to these amazing... What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That is a specimen called Pliush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped-off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere?
polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. About that doll, Flatlana? I understand that your toys aren't really for young children, but it'd be a shame to throw them away. And I feel a little weird about keeping them myself. Anyway, they found a puppy. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Speaking of weird shit. Be by the facility gate two weeks ago with that doll in its mouth. Maybe it got lost, or maybe it was just abandoned. It seemed like a fine dog. But it wouldn't give up the doll. It just kept carrying it around in its mouth. We thought about using it as a guard dog, but it was just too nasty. Anyway, we ended up giving it to Pavlov. They love dogs there, and they won't hurt. But I didn't know what to do with the doll. So I thought I might give it to your museum. I just feel too sad looking at it. Whoa! Hey! Why isn't anybody working? Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, 
Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into collective. I see. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this.
What will it be? Ass way out of here. Underground or something. Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova. Where's the power room around here? At the very top! Fantastic. Just what I always... Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered towering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top! Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. Robo, fuck! Who built all these goddamn things? wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. 
then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit. The Alpha Connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be all them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal, then destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly, but that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah. I mean, I guess. So where's the very top?
This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? I'm dumb, endlessly stupid. I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. What happened? I tried to run, but I didn't know how to rotate these things on the floor, so I failed. I could have opened the passage. It's a security relay. Looks simple enough. But I panicked and did something stupid. And then, wham! Blood everywhere. There was pain, and that was it. Yeah, you gotta adjust them by color. Well, shit happens. It's not your fault. I'll tell the tour guide you're, uh, here, still. Comrade Stockhausen, I took that foreign journalist for the secret tour of the VDNH. He saw everything. You should have seen his eyes bugging out of his head. They're going to be dying of envy when his article comes out. They'll slap more sanctions on us and order an extra bunch of bots. <laughs> Those capitalists sure are a weird bunch, huh?
Let's see if this thing helps. Did it? Oh, yeah. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? Authorization. Your... Major Ni... Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere. Any idea what you're doing, Major? Oh, just a sec. Is it really that difficult? <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Nice! Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, a turn, a carcass lay a sprawl. Upon a bed of shingle, flakes raised like some old poor, far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison sweating maps. Often it's and careless, cynic fashion. Balloon with evil gaps. On this future sense, the sun blazed in gold, cooking it to a turn with eager care. So to repay to nature hundredfold, what she had mingled there, the sky, as on the opening of a flower. Hey, on this is the pride of facility 3826. The, the stench drove at us made with such a fearsome in power. It became the foundation of a city called Chelsea, upon the rotten belly, whence larvae poured in leaves. Population numbers around 2,500 people. Most yes, found the head. And service we gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. How does it fly, Charles? The Icarus? Via propeller, Major. Why do you ask? I was thinking maybe it was those magnetic cushions. Like, maybe it was bouncing off of underground magnets or something. It's such a shame you never studied science. I mean, imagine if we had secret underground tunnels full of magnets all over the Soviet Union, and it was flying over them. What a bright idea. But our various facilities are essentially underground tunnels, and some of them do have magnets in them. I'd love to see them. 
but they sure did pick a weird name for the platform. How so? Well, that Icarus guy. Things didn't go so well for him. Flew too close to the sun and got fried. I read about it in school. Hmm. Your knowledge of mythology is impressive, Major. Charles, so after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. <coughs> they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. And the rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in Collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without them. I couldn't agree more. Pray to your tin god! Rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you. All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequence is matched. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. All employees evacuate the complex immediately. Please, Comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first, I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the Minister of Industry. You know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov. May I have a word with you in private? <laughs> uh, 
Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikael, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. 